everyone, here's my take on the Golden Globe on the Sienna Miller Hair and Makeup. Enjoy. First up, I'll be using this Laura Mercier Foundation Primer and this one's Radiance, which is a lot of you know have to actually use so many times. So I'll apply this all over the face, avoiding the eye area. Next up, we'll use this concealer and this one's an NC35 by MAC. I'll apply this all over the eyelid. And make sure you powder just before you apply any eyeshadow so it won't grab. Now I'll be using a lot of matte palette and matte eyeshadow in this. The first eyeshadow I'll be using is the Bone Beige BB2 by MAC. And this one is actually, the, all this eyeshadow I'll be using is coming out with all the contour palettes. So it's really easy and it's a beautiful color. <clears throat> Sorry, beautiful color. Now the next color I'll be using is Shadesta. It's this one's GA2. I'll be applying this all over the eyelid. And then don't forget to blend. As many of you know, I like to blend. And then we'll just bring some Shadesta just along the lash line at the bottom of the lash line. Just to pick some of that color in, just to give it more of a nice soft smoke. And again, we blend. Now I don't like to do a lot of hard lines, so I'll be applying this next eyeshadow with my angle brush. And this one is called the Pin Definitive. And it's BA2, so it, I'm just going for a really, really nice soft smoke line along. Now we're onto the foundation. I'll be using this NARS Barcelona, and that's the She Glow, and then I'll be mixing it with the concealer, and that one is NC30 by MAC. So I'll apply this in the back of my hand and just mix them a little bit together. And I'll be just applying this on very lightly. What I've noticed in the red carpet that the foundation are quite sheer, so. Now I'll apply a little bit of concealer under the eye. And uh, this one is the NC35 again. Now we're on to Lash Curler. A waterproof mascara so we don't have any accident in the red car. I'll be applying this MAC blotting powder, and this one is medium dark. I'll be applying this all over the face. Now we're on to the bronzer, and I'll be using this as my contour, and I'll be using the MAC Gold Refined. This is a really, really nice bronzer. So, what I'll do is I'll apply a little bit in the brush, and if you don't have any contour brush, what you need, what you can actually do is just pinch your brush. So you get that really nice square and just draw a line. Don't drag it, just dab it in and draw a line as you can see what I'm creating here. And then now we buff and soften the line that you've created. And we'll just buff everywhere. Now I'll be using, first I'll be using this Clear Brow Finisher by MAC, but I'll, I like to remove all the excess products that's got into the eyebrows, so I can do a little bit more of that. As you can see I'm actually removing a couple of points and just reshape Kara's eyebrows. And the reason I'm using this is I'm using this so almost as a wax, um, it's actually not a wax, but it just flattens the hair. So it won't actually come up. So when you're trying to hide something, you're always going to make sure you flatten it first. Now after you've done that, grab yourself a Pro Pencil by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And we'll just remove those points that I've mentioned to you guys earlier. I'll just reshape Kara's eyebrow. Eyebrows, I should say. And when you finish that, grab yourself a flat brush. Synthetic brush will be better, um, and just pat, don't drag the brush, just pat it. And you're probably wondering how we're going to hide that, so grab yourself a brush and the foundation you've used all over the face, and just dab it in and blend away. Stuff, I'll be using this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel and this one, the colour of this one is Brunette. And 
again another Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade and this one the color of this one is chocolate so it's quite dark and I'll be extending Kara's eyebrows. and you have your shape you go back in with your Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel again the brunette and just brush the hair up just to make it more fuller so it's not so heavy and then I'll and once again I'll be using the, the pro pencil by Anastasia Beverly Hills this one is base too just to give the eyebrows a bit more definition and a, a real lift now I'm on to the blusher and I'll be using this bronze shimmer brick by Bobbi Brown. I like this because it just gives you this really nice um, shimmer and nice glow and skin so I'll be applying this everywhere. And to give it a bit more of a, an extra glow I'll be using this makeup studio eyeshadow called Classy Champagne. It'll just give it a really nice highlight. I'm really loving this MAC lip liner called Oak. It's a really beautiful colour. And I'll just be doing the lip liner on the outside of the lips. And when you finish with that, just grab a little foundation and just clean up the edge so it's not so messy. And I'll be using this lipstick pencil by NARS and it's called Velvet Gloss Lip Pencil. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right. I think it's called Ceter, but all the details will be on the description. Don't forget to look at her. I'm ready to cut the book. Hope you enjoy it. Now we're on to the hair. First up is I blow out the hair, and this hairstyle actually works really well on the on the day old hairstyle so just create the part from where you want the hair to sit first pin that aside show you here doesn't need to be perfectly clean because the hair is quite messy and relaxed and I'll grab I'll split this into two sections put that aside and then I'll grab quite a chunky section here and then I'll roll it into the top I'll roll it back if that makes sense and repeat. When you finish with that, we'll move to the other side and I'll just split this into three, four sections. So I'll, the first section I've got here, I'll show you, it's quite big, quite chunky. So the, um, the way they've done the Sienna Miller hairstyle, it's, it's more relaxed and it's quite casual. So it's, it's not a lot of work into it. As you can see, I'm taking quite a massive chunk section here and just roll it onto the hair and again, roll back and then drag the tongue down and keep the hair the end straight and then repeat the process until you get to the top. And when you finish with that, I'll don't forget to use the dust, especially when your hair is clean, use the dust and this one is called Schwarzkopf Dust Oasis and this will just give it a little, a little bit more of that really nice messy look. Hope you enjoyed this look. Um, if, you, if there's any video that you guys would like me to recreate or any look that you'd like me to recreate, please write me a comment. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe. Till next time, bye for now.